David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today I have for you a fairly new pen from the Russian brand Bennu. It has some familiar elements when it comes to Bennu pens, but it incorporates some new techniques and processes the company has begun to experiment with. And that pen is the Euphoria Dream. What I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of the Euphoria Dream, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to the good folks at Bennu for providing this pen for review. The pen arrives in this standard Bennu box. Inside there is a little some warranty information, which I dropped. There's some warranty information. Uh, and then there is the pouch with the pen. And then I always like this little uh, shredded paper material in the bottom here. It's almost like a little nest. And then inside the pouch, we have the pen. This is the Bennu Euphoria Dream. Um, I previously reviewed a couple of different versions of the Bennu Euphoria, but this one here is a bit different. This model is only available directly from the Bennu site and brings a handcrafted element into the design, which I'll discuss here in a bit. The Euphoria is one of the larger Bennu models. I do care for the size. The pen is faceted. There are 10 facets, which makes this pen called a Decagon. Uh, the Dream is made from a rich purple resin. Embedded in the resin are purple shimmering elements that give the material a subtle depth. Subtlety isn't a word typically used to describe Bennu pens. The distinguishing feature of this pen is the artistic element added to the barrel. Um, it's hand painted with a series of multicolor layers in a process that takes around five days to complete. It adds an impressive array of colors and depth, with the color shades of paint and the shimmering elements contained within the resin. This piece of, uh, let's call it flair, feels a bit more artistic and intentional than on other Bennu models I've been able to test out, where those elements are more part of the resin. Uh, Bennu has begun experimenting with adding handcrafted elements to some of their pens. Uh, they previously released this model here called the Flame. Um, this was a limited edition of 30, which has a hand-painted element which incorporates gold leaf into the paint. Uh, these sold out rather quickly on the Bennu site when they were offered. I believe they sold out in, a, in the couple of days it took for them to actually mail this pen to me from Russia. So unfortunately, there wasn't much reason to do a review of a pen which was no longer available. But I feel it looks really nice. Um, this Euphoria Dream is currently planned not to be a limited offering, but I'll discuss more about that in a bit. Um, I will be the first to admit that Bennu pens aren't for everyone. They have a certain amount of pizzazz and flair, which is polarizing. Folks either seem to love it or they don't, and that's okay. Uh, that's the thing about doing these reviews. Not every pen matches my personal taste, but that doesn't mean that it's not a good pen for what it is and a perfect match for the target audience. It just might mean that I'm not the target audience for that pen. It's nice listening to music. Uh, you might not be a fan of modern pop music, but then again, you hear something like Billie Eilish's Happier Than Ever and it blows you away. And you're like, wait a minute, maybe I've been missing something here. Uh, and if you've never heard that song, do yourself a favor and look it up on YouTube. It's well worth the listen. Um, I feel it's beneficial every once in a while to take a step out of your comfort zone and attempt to make some new discoveries. It just might broaden your horizons with an appreciation of something new. Just because something doesn't match your personal tastes, it doesn't automatically mean that that thing is bad. I think that's a trap that people fall into. It's easy to discount or trash something that isn't in your comfort zone. Okay, mini rant done. Uh, let's take a look at the parts of this pen. The end of the cap is very slightly rounded. Uh, this transitions into the cap, which begins with the clip. Compared to the rest of the pen, the clip is rather subdued. I do like how it matches up well with one of the facets, though. The cap angles up until you reach the black plastic cap band. 
On it, it has the company name of Bennu. Uh, if you're not familiar with the name Bennu, it refers to the ancient Egyptian deity named Bennu, who is linked with the sun and creation and rebirth. Uh, this is what Bennu looks like. The Bennu bird was said to appear each morning under the form of the rising sun and was supposed to shine upon the world from the top of a famous tree in an area which is now on the outskirts of modern Cairo. There is a medium-sized step down till you get to the barrel, which tapers down at an even angle until you get to the end, which, like the top of the cap, is slightly rounded. The cap twists off in two and a half rotations, and underneath there is a number six Schmidt stainless steel nib. The nib is available in fine, medium, and broad. Uh, you'll see in the writing sample, but this broad nib is very generous. And here's a look at the plastic feed. The section begins with a slight flare and angles up until you reach the threads, and then there's a flat portion, which then has a rather large step up to the remainder of the barrel. Compared to the rest of the pen, the section is a bit on the thin side. I'd personally prefer to see it slightly thicker, but I do still find it comfortable to use even for longer writing sessions. The cap does post. When it's posted, it does have a bit of the mushroom look to it that's not my favorite. Uh, this pen is plenty long enough for me to use unposted, which is how I prefer to use it. This is a cartridge converter pen. It accepts standard international cartridges and a converter is provided. Uh, they also include a standard international long cartridge in the box, which is nice. Uh, you don't see the long ones included with that many pens. The Bennu Euphoria Dream is only available directly from the Bennu site. You won't find it in any other retailer. And I'll put a link to their site in the notes below. Uh, they plan to have this model available for an extended period of time. It's not a limited edition, but I believe with the handmade aspect of this pen, it's rather difficult to mass produce for wide distribution. And you might see it in and out of stock from time to time. This is one of the more expensive Bennu models. The Flame model that I showed you previously sold for around $350. And like I mentioned, the 30 units of this pen sold out in just a couple of days. The Euphoria Dream retails for $280. While the standard Euphoria models retail for around $120, the added price directly relates to the amount of time and effort it takes to create the handcrafted elements of this pen. Well, I do feel that is on the high side when it comes to a value proposition for this particular pen. I do like that Bennu is taking steps to create unique designs involving artisans. Um, it's also nice that it does come with free shipping, so you're not having to tack on more to have something shipped to you from Russia. Okay, thanks again. Go out to the good folks at Bennu for providing this pen for review. Now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Bennu Euphoria Dream. I just wanted to give you another closer look at that hand-painted element that's here, as well as that purple. The purple has a really nice depth to it. Um, this is what it looks like with that flame model. The flame model painting on here is rather cool as well. I really like the underlying elements in here that almost make it look like the, uh, the sparks around a flame. And then here it is with another Bennu model. This is the Bennu Talisman, and this was in the Dragon's Blood. Uh, and then here it is with a standard Euphoria model. In regard to some non-Bennu models, here it is with a Conklin Duragraph Rainbow and a Twisby Eco. And then finally here, a Lamy All-Star. In regard to some uncapped comparisons, um, here it is with the Talisman. It's a little bit longer than the Talisman. And the Conklin Duragraph Rainbow. And then the Lamy All-Star. Here we go with the writing sample for the Bennu Euphoria. Dream, and this is a broad stainless steel nib, 
And the ink, I wanted to use a kind of purpley shimmery ink to go with this purpley shimmery pen. And that would be something from Kiwi ink called Trey Colory Purple. This is what the purple looks like. It's a really nice color. It has a lot of shade and sheen that I'd say is more subtle as opposed to something that's in your face. Uh, but if you've never had a chance to check out Kiwi inks, it's something I would strongly recommend. Um, here it is with one of my other favorite purples that has a bit of sheen to it, which is Diamine Purple Rain. And then there is Birmingham Andy Warhol Pop Art Purple. This is what the ink bottles look like. I kind of like that Kiwi Inks put a sample of what the ink is on the side since it doesn't necessarily say what it is. Gives you a good idea of what's actually inside the bottle. Here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Um, I'm, I do mention before, but I find this broad nib to be very generous, um, that it lays down a nice fat line. You're not going to get a lot of line variation out of here. Uh, the ink flow is rather generous. And in regard to reverse writing... Um, it's a little bit on the lighter side, but it does lay down an extra, extra fine line. And in regard to some fast writing, the feed keeps up just fine. So there we have the Bennu Euphoria Dream. Uh, like I said, I think this is an interesting addition to the Bennu lineup, and I like the fact that they are now incorporating, uh, on a few different projects, the work of some skilled artisans to incorporate their art into their pen. Okay, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.